on 9 Sports. Good morning, I'm Alexis Geffen, and here are your morning sports. The NFL rosters were trimmed down to 53 on Saturday, and Packers GM Ted Thompson was wheeling and dealing yesterday to finalize Green Bay's roster and practice squad. According to ESPN's Todd Archer, the Packers traded veteran outside linebacker J. Roan Elliott to the Dallas Cowboys. The Packers will get a conditional seventh round pick in next year's draft. This means Elliott must meet certain thresholds for the green and gold to get the pick. Elliott's roster spot will go to rookie Chris Odom, who was claimed by the Packers off waivers from the Atlanta Falcons. The six foot four edge defender had an excellent preseason performance for Atlanta, racking up eight total sacks. After the Packers decided to go ahead with only two QBs on their roster, Taysom Hill became a question mark. Green Bay's plan of getting Hill on their practice squad after his solid preseason performance has been crushed. Hill was picked up by the New Orleans Saints off waivers. And some players who were cut on Saturday made it onto Green Bay's 10-man practice squad. Just to name a few, QB Joe Callahan was added. So he'll be that developmental third quarterback. Wide receiver and fifth-round draft pick D'Angelo Yancey made the list. And sixth-round draft pick offensive lineman Kofi Amichia was also added. You can find the full list on WAOW.com. This is a crucial time for the Brew Crew as they look to stay in the playoff race. Now three and a half games out in the NL Central and a half a game out in the race for the second wild card spot. Series finale against the Nats in Miller Park and the crew gets on the scoreboard first. Brewers lead 2-0 in the fourth. Domingo Santana more like Showmingo Santana. A homer in the second and then he does it again. A rocket shot to center for the two run homer. The crew takes the lead for a bottom six. This one adds some insurance. One man on and Travis Shaw smacks one high to right field. Nats with the catch, but the crew executes on the sack fly. It goes far enough to score. Walker Brewers get the win in their territory. A 7-2 final score to take three of the four games in this series. They'll face the Reds today in a matinee game. I keep saying this, but we're chasing. And when you're chasing, you know, the pressure's on to win. And, um, you know, you feel like you take three out of four from on a home stand from a good team, you know, you, you did your job. We just got to play every day like it's our last game, you know, and um, you just got to uh, keep proving people wrong. That's all for sports. Have a great Labor Day.